Hello folks, welcome to Medlands Fishery near Coventry. Today is the first day of a brand new event that we've created for 2023. It's the Medlands Silverfish Cup and it's been kindly sponsored this year by Garbolino. Behind me are 48 of the country's very best anglers. We've got England internationals here, we've got former Fishermania champions and even the current Fishermania champion as well. The format of the event is over two days and it's done on section points. So it's certain there's going to be some very tight battles deciding who takes those podium places. Let's get around the lakes and see how the anglers are feeling. I'm Sean Ashby, I'm at the Garbolino on the Flyer TV two day event at the fantastic Medlands Fishery. Uh, drawn peg 50 on the, uh, on the pump bank, probably not to the best. Uh, it, would, it didn't do very well on Saturday. Um, although it did have £20 next to it, so it's shallow, but it's been warm the last two days, so you never know. It ain't going to be a big weight to win this section, probably, or well, £20, 25 max. The wind's a bit naughty, so I'm not too despondent, so let's see what happens. Good morning, we're here today on the, uh, on the Flyer TV Silver Classic, sponsored by ourselves Garbolino. It's a lovely day, day one. Cat, you couldn't wish for a better place. Meadowlands Fishery Country is just an awesome place at the moment in winter for silver fishing. So on the Fly TV I've brought it here and the weather's turned up. Bit windy today. I'm on what they call the, the far bank side, it's a shallow area. The thing about this place is it, it varies so much the depth. We've got two lakes in, we've got a shallow lake there in Warren, we've got a deep lake on the far side over there and a shallow lake on here, this is lambs. So there could be fish anywhere. Windy day, carp are moving about a bit and they could, just could be anywhere. The carp will move the, the skimmers around, move the big bream around. So nobody really knows. I fish here all the time and I just don't know. So that's what's so good about this. I'm on 53, one of Waco's favourite pegs. He's next door to me. Anything could happen here. You know, we could get carp to death. That's one of the problems. But if we catch carp, we, we would hope that we catch some bream as well. So you never know with this place. Everyone's going to have a great day, whatever happens. Morning, everybody. It's day one of the Garbolino. Medal and Silverfish Cup, run by On The Flyer TV. Absolutely great event, first year it's, uh, it's taken off, so hopefully we'll be back here every year. Um, today I've drawn 55 on the far bank of Lambsdowne, which I was on 53 on Saturday, on the other series that we fish on here, and I only caught nine pounds, so it can be really good. But as you can see, the conditions aren't the best because of the wind, um, I think. It's going to be maybe a 25, 30 pound day. Probably, and looking at the wind, it'll probably be a feeder match, I'd have thought. So that'll be, uh, that'll be the main tactic, unless the wind drops. And then hopefully we'll catch them on a pole late on if, if it allows us. But I'm not too sure what the wind's going to do. So, but it's a tough section. Like I said, I was MPEG 53 on Saturday and the other MPEG won. So I ain't really moved a deal since Saturday. But we'll give it a go. Thank you.
As you know, at On The Fly TV, we're big on trying to up the profile of match fishing, and that means bringing in sponsors where we can to help support our events. Now, Garbolino and Darren Cox have very kindly got behind this event, and we can't thank them enough for that, really. They've given us eight packs for each day, so every section winner gets a pack. And these packs contain a towel, which is perfect if you're a scruffy sod like me, but then the really interesting bits, or the interesting bits to me, are the line and the Dacron connectors. Now look at this. This is the new Garbolino Super Soft Competition line. Now, accurate diameter, soft and supple high-tech line is so important when it comes to silverfish fishing. And I've been lucky enough to have a play with this stuff. It's really, really nice. It's soft, it's supple, and perhaps most importantly, it knots really, really well as well. Really, really good and well worth a, a play if you're in the market for a new line for your silverfish fishing. Another nice little product that every section winner is getting is two packets of these Dacron connectors. What's special about these? Well, for one, they're a bit smaller. A lot of the commercially available Dacrons are quite big, so if you're fishing with bungee or hollow elastics, they're fine, but for finesse work when you're using maybe small solid elastics, they're not quite right. These will sit nicely on a five or a six elastic, very small, and again, the Dacron on them is, uh, is very supple as well. So really, really nice product. And of course, you get a cap as well. So all in all, a really, really nice little prize package. Some lines, some Dacrons, a towel and a hat with a total retail value of about £40. And every section winner gets one of these. Right, so 
Um, today, we're going into day two of the Medellin Silvers Cup and I've drawn, unbelievably, in the same section as yesterday. Um, albeit not on a stronger peg, I've got there's two pegs in this section that tend to dominate quite a lot. There's five and 11, There's some good anglers on those. So I think I've got my work cut out. Uh, yesterday, I was, ironically enough, I was on peg five and I got off to a brilliant start, catching 39 pound of skimmers, had a lovely day's fishing. Um, I managed to win my section. So obviously hoping for more of the same today, but whether the peg's quite strong enough, I'm not sure, but I think conditions are a little bit different today. So, I think it's um, I think it's going to be a little bit fairer, um, albeit not as good fishing. But I, I guess we'll see. Obviously, I think this you know elsewhere those that won the sections yesterday, some have drawn well as well. Um, so yeah, a bit of work to do, um, but it's a great event. The standard of angler on this is phenomenal, really. To be honest, it's just like incredible. Um, just everywhere you look you've done section on section boards every, like everyone's good so makes for a brilliant event it's another great event that's like come up in the calendar so yeah really looking forward to it and hopefully with a bit of luck i can uh, i can pull it out of the bag today but we'll see hello my name is kev williams i'm the, the garbellino silverfish two-day festival at medlands yesterday i drew lambs down 63 which was in peg in a tough section uh, ended up with £30.4, mostly skimmers, roads with some odd bream, caught on ground bait and maggots. Um, ended up winning the section. Today I've drawn a reasonable peg on Warren, peg 11. Uh, approach will be more or less similar. I'm not going down the pellet route because I can't compete with the pellet guys. So we'll see how it goes today. Looking forward to it. Weather's not so windy because it blew my arms off yesterday. So we'll see how we get on. So we're down here for the second day of the On The Flyer TV festival down at Medellins, sponsored by Garbellino. Had a cracking day yesterday, drove over on the deeps on Lambs Down, peg 20, managed 65 pound, which is enough to win the match. So really happy with that. You know, came here to start practice for the final on Sunday. So I felt like at least I got a go on the good pegs. Today, I don't think I've drawn as well. I'm on 58 on the opposite bank. It's probably half the depth of what we had over on the other side. So it might take a little bit longer to catch, but hopefully, the wind's a bit better today. There'll be some fish about. Could do with a section win, really. You know, after yesterday's good weight, it puts me in a good position. But we've got some brilliant anglers. Um, Darren Cox down on the end, which is probably the favoured peg. Um, but if I could get a second in the section, I'd be absolutely made up with that. But we've got stiff competition in every section. There's brilliant anglers. So even a second's going to be a tough order. So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to do the same thing as yesterday. And hopefully um, we can catch some fish. So it's day two of the Garbellino Silvers Cup at Meadowlands and I've actually drawn peg 18 on the Lambsdown Lake. It's the same peg I actually drew yesterday and I caught overground bait and maggots long and the same short. I had a good run late short overground bait, some big ones there. And obviously today I'm going to do the same short, but obviously yesterday Andy Bennett had 65 pounds, two to my left. He wasn't actually in my section, but he won the match. So. Today I think I'm going to change, I think I'm going to fish pellets long and do the same short and hopefully we can have the similar result, similar kind of weight and maybe win the section and we'll see where it gets us.
14 out, Grant Merrier. Go on, Um, second overall, with two points over the two days, an £87.10 ounce, picking up a £1,000 is Lee Wright. <laughs> and then, obviously, the first festival winner at Medlands, uh, picking up with, well, picking up 1,500 quid, two points, and a combined weight of £117.12 ounce, Andy Benny. <laughs> The top three for a photo, please. here with the festival winner and I'm getting sick of interviewing this bloke every time we seem to win an event at the minute he seems to win it not only won the event but two match wins as well so didn't really give anybody else a chance talk us through it mate what's happened well I did a good peg yesterday 20 on lambs down had a really nice day fishing pellets long didn't catch much short um, mixture of fish really a lot of smaller fish to start with and then they progressively got bigger throughout the day and then today's been the opposite really I've caught big fish early didn't catch for 40 minutes both days and then today I've caught some big fish early and they've got smaller as the day's gone on and I've had a few roach as well today on cast a shot so two brilliant days fishing two good weights yeah fantastic venue it's been really interesting with the field on this festival it's a bit of a joke really. look down the list and you get the best of natural venue fishing and a lot of brilliant commercial anglers as well do you think I think probably as we see more of these commercial silverfish events you do get that real crossover don't you and it, it probably makes the field even harder to beat really. yeah and also like i think on a venue like this it's sort of like your natural baits are probably not as dominant as like pellets and stuff yeah um, and it's, it's just an awesome venue you know what i mean lads who come here a lot you know i've not i've not been here before but sometimes that's a good thing because you come with your own sort of ideas so yeah i'm looking forward to next week's final now i feel like i've got a rough idea of what to do and hopefully just get a decent draw in that fingers crossed mate. awesome well done again lot, see you Cheers. next week thank you